We're in uh, Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, and we're with the new mayor mm-hmm. of this fine city, That's right. Zach uh, Vuring. Yes. <laughs> yes, you got it. And congratulations first on your uh, on becoming mayor. Thank and, you. Um, it's new, new to you. Mm-hmm. You're an Very entrepreneur. New. Yes, uh, yes. You have, uh, I guess now you're an absentee owner. Mm-hmm. But w- tell us a little bit about what motivated you to run for mayor. Sure. Well, a big part of it was that entrepreneurial skill set. That as somebody that was young, I felt I had something to offer in the sense that I could bring new ideas, fresh ideas to City Hall. And that was what propelled me into running. Uh, I felt for many years the city of Wisconsin Rapids has become stagnant, has mm-hmm. lost its competitive edge. And I felt that as an entrepreneur, I can bring that perspective and, and really help people understand that we can move beyond on some of this that we can stop doing what we've been doing because we need to stop getting what we've been getting and, and I really think that's been the key crux of why I've decided to run and hence been elected. So uh, wandering around this community I really have been impressed people are great and you know there's it's even I guess it, it doesn't seem like there's a uh, you know rich rich or poor poor at least if there are they don't act that way and sure. uh, you know I just where do you see the improvements being needed mean being needed? You know, we're central Wisconsin modesty we call it where people are very very modest about who they are they, they don't wear a lot of things on their sleeve, which is great, I think, uh, because then we can really move beyond and really achieve things we want to achieve. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the voter turnout in this community is really tremendous, and, and so that is a testament of, wo- of the level of engagement that this community is at right now. They're really willing to put their, everything in to, to really make this a better place. And, and you have you know industry here, you have the paper mills, but it seems like it's transformed in the last 20 years. It has. It hasn't been very diversified in the history of this community, and I think that's really where the crux of where we're moving is really trying to be diversified. Food processing and food manufacturing are really a big opportunity for us. Mm-hmm. But also, being a wired community, there's no sense that we can't be a technolo- technological hub for the Midwest. Well, and, and you speak with authority on that, have been an entrepreneur and, and starting uh, your own company that mm-hmm. is not only here, but it's another areas. That's right. That's right. So Central Wisconsin or Wisconsin Rapids has always been our hub as where we're based out of our headquarters and then the, the locations between here and Green Bay. So definitely having that, that you know, the infrastructure is key. And you've been a businessman for about 10 years now, mm-hmm. right? That's right. That's right. Absentee owner now, but yeah. certainly, yeah, as for about 10 years. But does that kind of give you a unique uh, experience as far as, you know, what's needed from a business perspective and what's needed to uh, attract people from other areas? Absolutely. And it gives me the mentality and the, and, and the idea that we'll find a way to make it happen, that, that just because the things haven't been done in the past doesn't mean we can't achieve them in the future. And so... One of the other things that, uh, you know, in looking at the, the magazine there, uh, it seems like you're taking more of a regional approach as well. Do, so how does that work? Are you working with other cities or do you plan on it in other parts of the, uh, this area? There's a number of municipalities that surround Wisconsin Rapids, and, and we've now started to get everybody at the table regularly so we can have conversations of how do we share infrastructure investments, how do we share investments in, in just people in general, because it doesn't matter where a business locates particularly, it, it matters obviously where those people are living, where they're working, mm-hmm. a lot more than that. So by having that regional approach, we all gain when we work together. And so uh, back, uh, I guess, when you were uh, a little bit younger mm-hmm. and uh, just before you started a business, you were telling me about how um, uh, you were just kind of pining for uh, broadband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had dial-up, and, and it was – painstakingly slow and and so I really wanted to I was pushing all the time calling the local ISP Solaris to find out when are we gonna get high speed out here when are we in high speed I remember the three-year timeline the two-year and just counting it down and it really was what propelled me into technology I became so interested in it that's how I started my business it started out of my home uh, in, in my parents basement and uh, that's where I got my first customers that's where it started and and the rest is history and, and in fact what happened was you ended up moving downtown here mm-hmm. and, and hiring employees and and really generating uh, revenue in a part of the economy that wouldn't be there otherwise. Absolutely. Very productive revenue. It, you know, it was really kind of a dream of mine, but also made it a reality by just being that, that entrepreneur, having that mindset, we're just going to get it done. Well, and you also went to college locally, but or mm-hmm. somewhat locally, but then came back here. That's right. I chose to come back to Wisconsin Rapids because I really felt that there was a huge opportunity to move the city forward. And I think um, my next two years as mayor, obviously, are going to be dedicated to that. But that's really truly what I feel. Uh, I feel that the community is, a cro- is at a crossroads in so many ways. And uh, it's time for us to turn the corner and become competitive again. So, you know, with people uh, that are in their 20s, mm-hmm. late teens, 20s, how do you keep them here? How do you 
get them to come back. That's been the challenge is, is, retract, is attraction and retention of our young people. And I've said it in the campaign that what we need to do is elect a young mayor, somebody that can start being that magnet to bring young people back here because that's what it takes. It takes fresh ideas. It may not be young ideas, but it's fresh ideas. Mm -hmm. And young people happen to bring fresh ideas, and that's what's really key. Go explore the world, see the th great things that the world has to offer, but come back to Wisconsin Rapids and put it to work. Great. Well, uh, I really uh, wish you a lot of luck. And I, from what I saw last night with some of your supporters and stuff, you have supporters of all ages. So right. uh, good luck to you in Wisconsin Rapids. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.